Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearthfire 4 Kaiserreich as Armenia. Let's continue on from the last of off. So, I'm trying to get this one division to not be encircled. Please, thank you. J just hang back, okay? Go back, take this city. I want you to go take this city from Ukraine as well. You might get like an encirclement here, but I can't quite say yet. How are the rest of you guys doing? When you're in the Reich's Pact, War in Finland, honestly, is not going super, super well. How much are you worth? Two? Okay, I'm going to pull you back a little bit. Also, there is, uh, there is a big gap in our front line right here. That scares me a lot, actually. Um, because Russia didn't defend all the areas I kind of expected them to defend. Because we need to get our way to Sevastopol. That much is obvious. Okay, they did put one in there to defend. If you can maybe take this province, that would get us another uh, opening here. Ukraine is at 37. Press Litov's worth 5. Okay, go take this city. Why are you not moving? Is it because there's a battle on the way? Please go over there and, and help out. They might take back some of their cities. Well, how much are you worth? You're worth two? I mean, again, without taking Sevastopol... We don't have a ton of options. We do also we do need this city though as well. That much goes without saying. I mean, having a one single tile strip of land is does make it vulnerable. So I guess I shouldn't be surprised that uh, Ukraine's kind of closing all those gaps up. But you know they don't have to be jerks about it. If six division, I don't even know where all these divisions are or why they're all here. You know what? You just keep going, man. I don't know where you're going, but as long as you're not on the way to Sevastopol, I... There we go. More than okay. New England's declared war on the CSA. You know what? Ballsy play, but, you know, if you can make it work, good on ya. Because you're not in a faction, right? Yeah, no. New England at some point declared independence from the Entente. Keep our units going. We got some ru one Russian unit. I do see there's some Russian or some Ukrainian division just sitting here, which is understandable, but I don't like it. Don't take this province. Are you moving anymore? You are. You'll be there in five days. Okay, so you're moving, but incredibly, incredibly slowly. You're worth five. You know what? Let's bring um. You come take these two cities in the north. We got a ten. We got a ten victory point over here. I would like to take. How much are you worth? It doesn't matter because that's actually no, no, no. This was part of Ukraine, but it's not a core, right? Oh, it is a core. So actually, no, it does matter. You can take that. That'd be nice. But once Ukraine's dead, Russia can deploy so many more units on the rest of the eastern front. It'll be very handy. Okay, so Russia done another naval invasion here. I don't think they have military access through the International, so they're not actually going to be able to supply these two units. But I'm sure it's not going to be so, so bad. Probably. Go for a negative 5% consumer goods. Did take this city. If we can make our way down, I'd be happy with it. They don't have any other really major cities over here. But as long as Russia can kind of stay and hold on to Coensburg, that would. Russia also invaded uh, the north of Denmark. I mean, sure, why not? They actually, actually invaded their way right next to Copenhagen as well. But I don't see that working out super well for them. Okay, so you're moving. 
be gone in 22 hours, and then I can move my way over to Patva. Will one of you guys just move your way into Sumi? There's literally nobody in the city, so you might as well just go and take it. How many units have I actually lost so far in this war? Ten only, you know what? Only 10,000 is not so bad. How many How many uh, Ukrainians have I killed? Less than... Okay, so I've, I've lost more than I've killed. But I... It, without me, the rush would be nowhere near close to victory right now. Because the AI doesn't like making stupid risks like I do. Okay, so Ukraine is down to 29%. We did take this city, which means this area now has no victory points actually in it. I want you go here. Actually, if you're on this line at all, go here. Because you're worth 10, it would be nice for us to take it. You are worth 3. Which isn't bad. Okay, we can close off these little gaps. But these smaller encirclements really don't matter because Ukraine isn't going to exist very soon. Yeah, so actually, if you're on this line, go here as well. Everybody strategically redeploy if you can. I kind of want everyone... Okay, yeah, you're now encircled. You guys will be encircled soon as well. I mean, Germany is now pushing your way through northern Russia. Which, I mean, isn't good. You know, like, it, it's, it could be better. But, again, once Ukraine is dead and all these Russian divisions can deploy somewhere else, then we'll be golden. Then we'll be right as rain. I don't know if our ally will even help me take this city. How much are you worth? Five? I mean, these two cities might also do it for us, but it's, I think, a little hard to tell. I'm fairly confident, though, that, um... Well, first, I want to deploy these two units. We are going to send you up to this front. And if we can just get our way to... I mean, it's worth 20 victory points. Iran's declared war. Okay, Iran's joined the Eastern Syndicalist Union. Something that, again, I don't think I've ever actually, um, not what I want. I don't think I've ever seen them actually join that faction. Oh, they also even brought in the Hyal Commune. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah, so we got a couple of encirclements over here. Recon Company 2. And if I'm not mistaken, we should have enough to throw in our cavalry. Do all of our, I mean, we could probably even add, like, military police. I mean, we don't need military police. But, like, a field hospital? Eh, we need trucks for that. What about, like, an engineering company? Yeah, I mean, no, this is this is fine. Throw all, throw all of them in. Keep marching away over towards uh, Sevastopol, please and thank you. Southern Balkans. I mean, we're a landlocked nation, so we're not going to be directly navally invaded. We're safe. We're, for the most part, we're safe. But again, as long as we can take... Okay, I want you... Please move into here. Boston has fallen. Not a huge surprise. There's nobody in Sevastopol. Will this actually kill off Ukraine? I want to say that it should. It's worth 20 victory points, and I think they're down to like their last like seven. They're down to six percent. So this should I like 90 percent sure be the end of them? Okay, yes, it was worth 10 percent. So at midnight tonight, Ukraine will capitulate. <laughs> And I mean, I think everything here just goes to, even though we did a lot of the work, actually is, I don't think Crimea is a country in Kaiserreich. I'm going to see if I can get my own little Crimean puppet state. I don't think it exists, though. 
Okay, after this, where do we want to go? I think we want to kill White Ruthania next. Will the player units over on that front? Okay. I'm just, I'm just happy we were able to uh, make something there work. I mean, our, our landings here are still going okay. And Germany is net at 32%. But because Austria is a, um, a great power, and because they have still like a lot of their victory points uh, still remaining, Class of the Reichspact event, I think it's based now on like how close Austria and Germany combined are to death. And of course, and of course, we're really nowhere near dying right now, which is very sad. Austria, that is. I mean, Germany's pretty close. But I mean, they've got some good land here. You're not in any faction, CSA's annex New England. I don't think anybody's surprised by that outcome. Or at least they shouldn't be. We can make a move our way up north. We should have a lot of Russian, uh, Russian backing here. And we shouldn't lose two. We lost 63 troops already. But it's not so bad. Not so, so bad. We're way up towards Pinsk. Russia, I'm kind of expecting a lot from you here. Okay, so I can't release uh, I can't release an independent from me, unfortunately. We'll just, we'll just give that to Russia. There you go. You guys have fun with that. I mean, White Ruthenia, I don't think, is really close to being killed. I still got a lot of land left, unfortunately. Somehow the the Reichspact's actually pushing her way into um, France a little bit. I don't know how the hell that's happened. But it's happening. I can see it with my own eyes. Do you think I can get like an encirclement here? I'm leaning towards no. I don't see that happening. You're worth three. I mean, just taking Minsk is not going to kill off White Ruthenia. While it would be nice, it's, it's not that simple. I mean, again, we could maybe get like a small encirclement. Or maybe I want to move my units into a completely different front line. Like if there's just somewhere else maybe that is way more exposed. I mean, we got like the weird Latvian border. Not really too sure what's going on there. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, what about up here in Finland? Probably not Finland yet. I'm surprised that Germany's still alive. I mean, I'm surprised at 33%. I mean, they still have Frankfurt. They got Stuttgart. They still got Munich. <clears throat> so they still got, like, some decent cities. You're worth three. We can maybe get like an encirclement here. Potentially? Eh, I was thinking like maybe we move here and here. We get a small encirclement going. I don't think that's super. Actually, let's try pushing here. Have you two fight against this army. Electrify the country next. 75. Yeah, if you can get this in circle, man. It's only going to get four units in circle, but it's going to free up actually a lot of our uh, allied units. Which is worthwhile. I also have a lot of political power. I probably should be spending it on something. Uh, industrial concern. Why not? Non-aggression packs is all of you. We're not building any anything else. But we don't need to. Like, I'm... We have six. We have seventy thousand rifles, which is more than enough to sustain the war effort. Actually, how many rifles does Russia have? Right now, they have. Well, they they have like a hundred. They have like two hundred thousand rifles. Okay, so they they should be fine. What about our other allies, like Serbia? How many guns do you guys have? Sixty-one thousand. Romania. A minimum, okay, they have like 60,000 as well. I mean, Turkey now has got some own, uh, their own units. Greece? 
79,000. What about Bulgaria? 3,000. So they have, they have 7,000. Which is fine. I don't... What about, like, France? I don't know how many guns the French have. I don't know if we should even give them any guns. It's like, it might make our war a little easier, but really not, I think, by that that much. Yeah, yeah. so we will get this encirclement going. Assuming... When will you be in this province, you son of a bitch? Three hours. Eight hours. Are you... Are you kidding me? Shitting me right now? Okay, I'm gonna shrink your front line. Just be in this position. We got a little bit of a rice pack counterattack, but I'm not too concerned about it. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. How the rest of the world going? Everything else seems like it's going pretty okay. Albania did come back from the dead. I mean, if France were to take, like, this territory, it would make their front lines way more uh, consistent. Okay, Albania's capa uh, capitulated a second time. Fantastic. Okay, one day, six hours. That's it, just one day, six hours. Where do we have a supply hub around here? We got a supply hub... In this city, and then it's all the way up in, like, Minsk. Okay, so we got this encirclement going. So, I mean, that's good for them. Why you on this line? How bad is our penalty actually bringing one over? 3%? 3% not so bad. It's, it's acceptable. Also, I want you here. Because this, this province is actually abandoned. I don't know if you can sneak a unit around. But I would love to try. Yeah, bring all of our forces in this direction. Kill these units off. And you're, you're, you are... You guys should be okay. I mean, you, have, you have Danzig, you have Cohensburg. Don't got Mamel, but Mamel's only worth one victory point. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress over it too much. Yeah, Estonia's died again. Hopefully it means that these German units back here are going to be a little bit trapped. If you're going to take Riga... Actually, at this point, I don't think taking Riga is going to do too, too much for us. But, I mean, it'd still be nice. Okay, I want to keep the encirclement going. I'm Wolf of America. I'm going to say they went Syndicalist. They did. And they might end up joining the, uh, the International at some point. Which will basically kill Canada immediately. We can maybe try to kill this unit off. Get another tiny encirclement here. I mean, 400 defense. Okay, 400 defense is pretty good. So, you know what? Let me just go and try to take some victory points, and we won't worry about the uh, the finer details. Germany, Germany's down at 27%. What? I didn't actually know what else they lost. But the international, they need to push harder. Because we're now in mid-42, uh, which is actually a pretty long Vilkrieg. Okay, Minsk has fallen. White Ruthenia is now down to 47%. I'm going to just keep trying to... Uh... Is Vilnius a core? Not. Gonna move you into this area, please. If we can just kind of victory point rush down White Ruth, how much are you worth? Two. How much is Minsk worth? Minsk was worth fifteen. How much are you you're worth? One. You're worth one. Once you're in Minsk, I want you going over here. 
And then at that point, you might as well march away straight up north. Maybe sh kind of shrink this around. They know it's not going to be like a super easy fight. Even though I would like it to be. 44%. So one victory point is worth 3%. Which, okay, is not really that good. Okay, Russia... Do okay, I'm actually going to get my units completely encircled here. So... Uh... Le less than ideal. Less, less than ideal for sure. So for the time being, let's just hang out in Minsk. You know, just for fun. And if we need to, we can always just train more um, Turkish divisions to send them into the front lines. We should be okay. Even though things are kind of a mess. I'm going to put two units in Minsk for now. Yeah, okay, no. It's a, it's a bigger mess than I originally thought we were in. Okay. Not great. It's not great. I mean, it, it might distract enough German units to maybe make some gains on another front. Like, how, can I have, do I have enough uh, points? I don't. I was going to say to send, like, an attache to, to France. Just because I want to know what they're up to. Not that I think, like, taking, like, one... I got 27% right now. Which isn't very good. Okay, we, we have two units in Minsk. Well, uh, with handfuls of our units now in circle, I think this would be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. My name is AFWAM. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not enjoy, you can always thumbs down. If you want to subscribe, and goodbye.